This is your guru of geek, Marlo Anderson at CES 2017, and I'm standing next to Dr. Maya, who is really revolutionizing the way that we are using 3D printers. So why don't you tell us a little bit about what you're doing? Great, awesome. Um, so we are uh, creating desktop bioprinting devices, so it's like a 3D printer, except that we can print biological materials and living cells. Uh, we can print any kind of living cells, plant cells, animal cells, yeast, and even bacteria cells. Um, and with that, you can do a lot of fun and exciting experiments in biology. Okay, so maybe elaborate on that a little bit. Tell us a little bit about what kind of experiments you're working with right now. Absolutely. So we're working with uh, many academic labs and also high schools and technical colleges, and they're very interested in doing different kinds of bioassays. Um, so it could be enzymatic assays to learn how enzymes function. Uh, we also do a lot of algae cell printing and bacteria cell printing. So with bacteria cell, for example, you could do bacterial antibiotic screening. Uh, you could use these bacteria cells to grow uh, bacteria assays and then looking at different compounds or different um, drugs that could be used for antibacterial purposes. So how fast is this, I guess I don't want to call it a niche, but uh, how fast is, is this channel developing? I would say that it's actually developing pretty fast, considering in the last 10 years, uh, you know, if you just look at the history of bioprinting in general, right, a lot of things have, have happened and people are creating tissue models, uh, liver, kidney and whatnot, and we're getting closer and closer to potentially printing an organ someday. Um, today, at this stage, we're uh, creating very small tissue mock-like models uh, that could be used for a lot of uh, testing, so pharmaceutical testing, for example. Drug testing has a lot of applications in that. So I think, personally, I'm very excited being in this space because I think there's a lot of potential that we could win this. And one day, we could have a lot of tissue replacement, um, organ replacement, potentially. So it's a very exciting field. So what about animal testing? Animal testing, so one of the wonderful applications is that we could create uh, for example, skin tissue, right? Um, so for skin tissue models, um, a lot of it is for cosmetics testing, right? So if we can create more skin tissue models that is more mimicking of what is actually happening in, inside our body, then we don't have to use animal testing anymore. So a few bioprinting companies and L'Oreal is also partnering uh, with a few bioprinting companies to look at how we could create uh, skin models that are more mimicking to the in vivo um, situation. So. So looking into the future a little bit now, we're, how long do you think it'll be before we actually start printing organs? Um, a lot of labs are looking at how they could create you know, organ uh, models or organ-like models. Um, I think it's still going to be maybe another 20, 30 years. Um, it's really hard to say. A lot of the challenge is really coming down to testing it in the body itself and see how it functions. So a lot of the in vivo and clinical trials is going to take a very long time. That's still amazing though when you think about that, that 20 to 30 years from now, if you need a new kidney, kidney you can actually just go in and get it printed. Yes, absolutely. I think that's very exciting, uh, you know, and a lot of great researchers are working towards that vision as well. So that's very exciting for all of us. Thank you, Dr. Maya. This is Marlo Anderson, your guru of geek with the Tech Ranch.